What up, y'all? Okay, look, we're doing something a little different today. Um, but keep the gear. Okay, look, keep the gear. Okay, Puriana. Okay, mushroom shirt. As always, y'all know you gotta look at my shirt. <laughs> um, but new friends, new friends, better than your friends. You want to introduce yourself, big dog? Peace, God. Honest Alchemist, Moon Child Infusions, uh, amateur mycologist, and chef. Yeah, I told y'all I met a psychedelic chef. We out to eat. Yeah, we doing ramen. Uh, so today's video, I am going to talk about different stuff that I saw online that's kind of like food related with mushrooms. And it's like, I don't know if it's Factor Cap. He got more experience than me. So why not talk to him about it? So yeah, let's do this. What I did was I sent him 15 attachments to look through and he gonna give y'all his opinion, whether he feel it's Factor Cap, whether he feel like, nah, you probably ain't gonna feel shit off of that. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's busting or whether it's not. Yes! Yeah. yeah, so we're gonna come through it. I'm gonna also put him in here so y'all can see as well what he looking at, even though y'all can't see his phone. Describe what you see and then go for it. Okay, good old stromay. That was a wild night at the beach. I don't know what kind of mushrooms these are, but uh, I don't know. It looked like they got jib. I don't, I don't see not, no, no bluing on this at all. What that means? No bruising. Most likely, been not to the psilocybin mushroom, those mushrooms that contain psilocybin through the oxidation process, mm -hmm. they turn like this bluish color, they bruise blue. So, to chop down mushrooms this much and not have any kind of bluing at all and none of that, it's cat. Probably cat. Okay. Most, most Can I tell you what I think? What up? I think those are fresh picked and they probably cleaned them and just put them in some, some lemonade. But I don't think they really gonna feel nothing off that because. You would have to use a lot of wet mushroom versus a dried mushroom in order to feel something. So if they was wet, then that would make sense. But they probably still wouldn't feel shit. So I feel like it's capped because you just doing shit for the internet. You drink a lemonade, you ain't gonna feel shit off of it. Yeah, yeah. But even fresh mushrooms. They feel blue? Fresh mushrooms blue like a motherfucker. Is it instant? Yeah, like the the blue and on the like the blue and on the enigma. Like that happens naturally. But even after you pick it. Mm -hmm. Even when you cut, when you touch it, just from the process of touching it, anytime the psilocybin gets exposed to oxygen, you get that, that blue color. Okay. So even if yeah, it's, so that's cat. Yeah, one hundred percent. Or they weed. They just might be, you know. Okay, I think it is possible to make a mushroom lemonade, but For that's sure. probably not how you do it, right? No, that's not how I would do it. How would you do it? It's probably better as a powder. Mm, and just shake it up in the actual lemonade. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like you're right, but that would be from a dried mushroom, though, right? Yeah, but I would even cut it. I would even cut it smaller on this. Like, if I was using fresh mushrooms. I would probably put it in the blender and try to get the particles as small as possible. Mm. You're looking for surface area, you're trying to extract as much psilocybin out of it as possible. Yeah. So, yeah, I would. Still... And that would double for like a pulp, right? Yeah. Kind yeah. Of. Yeah. I'm a pulp girl. You can pulp me to death. Yeah. I can go to noodles. These noodles are good. I can go fucking noodles. Yeah. Next one, go ahead. Okay. So that first one, cat, for sure. No, yeah, no, I don't trust that one. Yeah. yeah. No. They Alright, this one, these look like some nice ass albinos. This is uh the tried and true peanut butter and peanut butter and jelly sandwich with uh a little magic. Have you had that before? Oh yeah, for sure. How do you recommend? Yeah, especially for like beginners, like if you're not really a fan, thank you so much. Alright, so peanut butter mm -hmm. and jelly scale of one to ten, what you give me? Tried and true. I like that. It's good for the texture. Okay. I don't like peanut butter and jelly, so I don't think I would ever eat that. I mean at least they're using uh Crunchy peanut butter. Oh yeah, another one of my favorites. What is it? The mushrooms on the pizza. Okay, why you like that? Uh, again, a texture. Okay. I, I enjoy the fluffiness of the pie dough with the, you know, kind of crunchy integrity of the mushrooms. Mm. I don't mind it. I haven't tried it yet, but I want to. I like my mushrooms smaller though. Like I'm, I'm a big fan of powdering mushrooms. Yeah. Just, just because potency between mushrooms differs so much, you get a nice, you get a more consistent result if you kind of blend them all together. Mm, but for like beginners who just like, I just want more mushroom. It's not worth going through the extent of powdering one mushroom. No, no, not one mushroom. Yeah. Okay. No. Even if it's like two or three, you would, you would do like how many grams though to powder? Them? I would do the powder equivalent. That's what I'm saying. Like, okay. If, okay. If, if you're looking for a more consistent reaction you know from the product you mix it all together and you get a nice medium mm -hmm. uh, potency okay 
Okay. And then from that, that's that's kind of why like micro dose capsules work so great. Right? Okay. Because you're taking an ounce, two ounces, right? You're taking an entire flush, whatever. And now everything has this nice medium dose. It's, it's consistent. It's more consistent than yeah. what you would get it. You were having someone just, oh, just weigh out 0.28 every time. Yeah. It's going to be different because even if they were taking the points away from the same mushroom, the potency in each part of that mushroom is like fluctuate. I didn't even know that. I but, just thought it was all even, all like. Potency, potency fluctuates from fruit to fruit. Um, okay. Even fluctuates, like I said, from like cap to stem, same flush, same mushroom, could be the same weight, but you'll still have a difference in potency. Okay, good to know. Learn something new every fucking day. But on scale of one to 10, what's it giving me? I'm giving that a 10. Okay. You an easy 10. I'm a sucker for, for texture. Okay. You know, mushrooms have a texture already, and I just like the contrast that. So, what is this? Shroom wine? Okay, so two things. I did um, find a place that has shroom wine, but it's in a bottle. But I don't know about that. I don't know that I would do that because that's a mixing of substance. Mm, I don't know how I feel about that. It's a low dose. Low dose of wine, anyway. It looks like they had a little bit already. Yeah. But are they gonna feel anything off of that? Like the relationship with alcohol and shrooms. I feel like shrooms overpower, I mean, alcohol overpowers mushrooms all the time. So I don't recommend that people drink. I mean, you can do it, but like expect to be more more drunk than you are. Yeah. Mushroom high. Yeah. Okay, so it's weird for me. Okay. I feel like when I'm on psychedelics, my tolerance for alcohol actually goes up. Mm -hmm. I don't actually realize that I'm drunk until it's almost like my, until I admit to myself that like, hey bro, I think you might be drunk right now. And then it's almost <laughs> hey, bro, like, it, right then it like floods me and it's like, yeah man, shit. <laughs> it's feeling too good on the mushrooms right yeah. now. That we don't even, I don't feel the alcohol. Yeah. And it's almost like it's background until I acknowledge it. Mm. And then it's like, yeah, bro, I think it's stuck with you. So, yeah. I, yeah. I can see that. I feel like it affects everybody differently. But to your point, I wouldn't recommend mixing the two. Yeah. It doesn't always go well. I feel like that's that small amount, you might, might be okay. But for people who are like new to it, I don't think that's something that they I wouldn't should. suggest, yeah. Not, not, not a new one. Yeah. So, and looking at the chunks on this, and if you were looking at chunks on it, one, it looked like an ape. It looked like it got some apish texture to it. You know how apes kind of, even when they dry, they almost have that. I never had an ape before. You never had an ape? Never had an ape before. Okay. It's so you on know, the list. Even, you know how, you know, some, some pins and berries. The tissue on the cap, it's almost like it's the center is hollow and then the tissue around it kind of has like a, how can I describe the texture? You now some mushrooms break up better, like some break up almost like shreds and some powder up really well. Yeah, like, that's how you get shaped. Yeah, it's like some of the, the structure of this mushroom looks very much like something that was like bulbous, but that had like a, uh, some kind of like penis envy trait to it. It looked like a good mushroom, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, awesome. And it got a good amount of bruising on it too. See, and see, yeah. how much, you see how much they've broken it up? You see how much bruising you see just on that? Yeah. Think about somebody. But wait, dry mushrooms bruise more even when you break them up? No, they, they've already been bruised. But, right. But you will get, when they rehydrate, you'll get a glowing from the mushroom. So it's like when you make the lemonade. First, you have to okay. know the lemonade, how the matter inside, it. Either the lemonade turns blue, like, and the matter turns a little darker. I didn't know that. So when I was gonna try it. When it's dry, it doesn't bruise as much, but when you dehydrate it, like, That's why you said that lemonade was fake, because it didn't have no color to it. Uh, and the mushrooms didn't have any bruises. Okay. So then, what do you think that was? It wasn't a mushroom. I, don't know. I mean, it probably could have been a mushroom. I mean, it's, it's not mushroom, a mushroom, but it's not, yeah. It's not a psychedelic mushroom. Say less. See? Yeah, okay. So if I get some red mushrooms and go get a calypso and grind up, grind them up, pour it, pour it in there, it's gonna change colors. All right, we're doing that this weekend. Fuck it, we gonna find out. It'll leach. I mean, technically, you can put the mushrooms in water. In the water, you too. Again, everybody's different. I think that's the the one thing that I would always, <clears throat> always tell, like, kind of let people know, like, it's different for everybody. Yeah. It's going, it might be different for you every time you do it. 
Yeah. You have to be open to it. I be stressing that a lot because people think like, oh, I'm gonna just do something and I'm gonna, because they think like, oh, I know when I drink tequila, once my lips start buzzing, then I'm lit. Just like, it ain't gonna be like that every single time you do songs. I want y'all to understand that. It's a big difference from doing it once and doing it four times. You're gonna have four separate, very different experiences just because your mindset is already different. Yes. Your environment is gonna be different. How you feel that day is gonna be different. Whether you want to empty your full stomach is gonna be different. Like it's so many variables. Yeah, there's a lot of factors. I mean, because it is a good thing, right? Like it's a full body thing. What you had to eat, like what you had to eat that day. How you feel in? How much physical activity you've had? Like, so many factors, right? But yeah. I mean, it all coming down to intention setting. Setting yeah. setting setting are so hard to duplicate that it's almost impossible. It's impo unless you like at home. Blue light opened the window, but what if the temperature is different? That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> it, but then my, my thing is, like, if you are different, right? Like, I feel like in any good science experiment, you need to have a a control, something Correct. that doesn't change. Correct. I think with human beings, especially with our with our psyches, having a psychedelic experience changes you. Correct. It, it, so you would never be the same it, person it, you was before you did. So it's almost like every time you go in, you're this different version of yourself going in. Correct. To find out that there's another layer to yourself. And then living in that layer for a little while until you go back in and figure out, oh, okay. There's and another you keep layer. shedding these layers yep. upon layers. It's very much self so funny. Yeah, you never really arrive. Mushroom was asking what the thing that taught me that there is no such thing as making it. Like, you just keep going. There's, there's no such thing as evolution. Yeah. And you're going to keep evolving. And you're going to have challenges along the way no matter what. So just get out your mind that you're going to reach some place that superior and you're not going to have any issues and everything's just going to be fine. It's like, no, there's no feeling either. There's, there's nothing. Okay, so, are you one of those people who like, a cap is better than a stem? Are you team cap? Are you team stem? Or are you team mushroom? Just team mushroom. Okay. Again, from cap to cap, I'm looking at variations in potency. Correct. I'm team mushroom, you know. Okay. Team powder them all up in one batch. <laughs> team powder them. I'm screaming. <laughs> team powder them. Um, shrooms aren't better than pickles. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> but I see. And you. that's a, that's a burger, right? Or is yeah. that the McChicken? Yeah, that's the, that's the yeah that's the McDouble. I don't, I haven't had McDonald's in I don't know how long, but. Um, you point. I'll tell you one thing. You ain't putting that shit on no McDouble. <laughs> nah. I'm not eating a McDouble. Correct. I'm just, I'm not eating a McDouble, so. Okay, wait, would you put it on a white cabbage spider? The jalapeno cheese? Yeah. Okay. With extra, extra pickle and a little mustard? I'm smashing that shit. Everybody had you on that. I'm smashing that shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. With a 10 piece cheese stick, extra marinara. Okay. And a large bite, easy ice. White Castle is my shit. Okay. White Castle is that's the my, that's food, my, that's 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 my, not even be a funny. No, no. White castle make me do that. Faulty and mushroom, I'm gonna say like six and a half, seven. Okay. Not saying they won't be smacking. That's a lot of fucking mushrooms. That is a sandwich. lot of fucking mushrooms. They gonna feel that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just not sure. I'm not. I wouldn't mix it with. Again, I wouldn't mix that many mushrooms like that with McDonald's. Yeah, no. They just feel. I just. You're gonna be on the with, shitter. with the amount of stomach rot that mushrooms get naturally with something like as greasy as a burger and cheese, it's like I feel sorry for you. <laughs> I feel sorry for you. Um okay, Captain Crunch and mushrooms, great. Depending on how many mushrooms in here, absolutely. I like Captain Crunch. I do too. I don't like the way it's gonna tell me from my mouth, but <laughs> It's harder than the mushrooms, and it would blend in. I don't think you're gonna be able to get away from it. Again, I'm team powder. Yeah. I feel like. But you would sprinkle powder over your cereal? I would put. I would actually just put the mushrooms in the milk and like use it overnight or some shit, and then use it. Just use it for my cereal. Mm. Or again, powder it. Like take the milk. This makes me want to powder it and put it in some kind of, Maybe I'm gonna do. It. I'm gonna do that too. That's another video. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, like. The ability to just take it all, now you don't have to worry about texture. Yeah, you don't have to worry about texture. Right? But then, and now you can disperse it. Now it's in everything. 
Yeah. Now it's more like even. Like I would, the seal's gonna soak it up. Like, yeah. The seal's gonna soak up the milk, which is all he has, mushrooms, and it's gonna get in the crevices. So you basically microdose it the entire fucking time. By the time you get to the end, it's... Be pretty fucking lit. Yeah. And if you like me, I'm gonna eat cereal until the milk gone. Okay, but question though. Do you think the type of milk matter? Regular vitamin D or 2%? If we were talking about cannabis, maybe. Because you're looking for a fat kind. Okay. Mushrooms? Yeah. Probably not. So, yeah, me and my oat milk would be straight. Yeah. Because the, phys- the, the physical is. matter is still there. You remember how, like, old school old school cannabis edibles were smacking? Like, they didn't taste very good, but they were always smacking. Yeah. Because people just ground up weed and put it in there. Okay. So, versus an extraction where you're taking flowers, putting it in a medium, and then extracting parts of the, 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 the plant, you just grind it all up, and now you turn the grounding into the oil. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Versus yeah. trying to extract, not knowing if you're getting all, like, you're getting it all out anyway. Yeah. I think that's the beauty of mushrooms, which is why I moved into mushrooms, is because, well, you don't put them in something, it's there. It's ready, yeah. it's ready to use from yeah. fresh. And, and you don't have to process all that other shit. It's ready to go. It don't need a fat content. It don't need nothing. It just, okay. It, it's perfect. It comes ready to go.